Hey, what's up you guys? This is Ice Purple Laws here, and I have a new mic that I'm trying to use for the tablet. Now, the music will be quieter, and my voice will be louder, and so will the sound effects. And let's see how this all works out. Let's go back to a key. Hit by a pop idol. I'm going to be living with a pop idol? Seriously? As I stand there, Red looks at me with a stunned expression. You really didn't know that a key was a pop star until right this minute? Yes? He's super pop, super, 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 super popular right now. Both Ren and Sayaka nod in agreement. She's been in a ton of variety shows and drama. She's been in almost every recent magazine. I know that, but hey, we bet suddenly bends over. Aki, you're going to be in a gig over the Golden Week holidays, right? I guess. A live show. How many people will come? I daringly ask her a question. Does it matter how many people there are? Or, I'm sunk. But AoE answers my question in her place. <laughs> Laws, how many people do you think there will be? Uh, what, um, about a million? <laughs> huh? There would never be that many people, huh? Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> As everyone laughs. Aki sniffs in disgust. About a hundred thousand. One hundred? That's still pretty darn amazing. <laughs> I think that the world she lives in must be very different than mine. During dinner, Aki is the topic of conversation. After dinner, to be continued. I'm relaxing on the sofa alone. Ha! Huh. Who would have believed that Aki was a pop idol? And now that I'll be living with her from now on? Do these kinds of things really happen? Or she already hates me. When I found out that she was a pop idol, my interest in her grew unilaterally. To be honest, I can't imagine any scenarios in which we become friends. <sighs> but I shouldn't talk that way. We are going to be living together. There must be something I can come up with. As I mutter to myself, Clatter! I hear a noise from the kitchen. Uh, just a little further. What? A key? Didn't the same exact thing happen with Sayaka? In the kitchen, Aki is standing on her tiptoes on the top of a stool. Looks like she's trying to put the dishes away, but there's no way she's tall enough to do it. Oh, could this be my chance? Uh, Aki, let me do that for you. What? Suddenly, I hurry towards Aki and take the dishes from her. After show her my good side, I put the dishes on the shelf and glance at Aki. But what? For some reason, Aki is looking at me sulkily. Actually, it looks like she hates me. I must have done something wrong. Uh, Aki? Aki doesn't say anything, but just keeps glaring at me. Then she says one thing. Who asked you to help? Uh, can't believe this could be true, but... You didn't do this to try score points with me, did you? I apologize silently. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it. Without saying anything else, a key turns and leaves the room quickly. Damn! No end of quotation. That's proper grammar right there, chillins. My master plan has already backfired. A master plan that I came up with in a few seconds, and is part of a cliche anime game. And I already feel dejected. It's no good. A key hates me now more than ever. In my disappointment, 
I sit down and lay my head on the table. Huh? As I do, I hear the sound of a cell phone ringing loudly. Oh, could that be a keys? He doesn't seem to have heard it and has gone upstairs. Hey, a key, your cell phone. What? Without thinking, I call a key's name just then. I'm home. Oh, Misaki's home. As the door blows open, a brisk breeze blows in. Huh? Hey. Her skirt zooms in on her shoulder. <laughs> God damn it. Damn it, wrong button. Damn it. Fuck it. Her skirt. Uh oh. Oh god, she's gonna hate me even more now. Aye! Wow! Push. Fluster to key pushes her skirt down, but it's already too late. Glare. Yikes! Aki glares at me with real anger. I, I, I just. Did I see something? I'm not sure what just happened. You. You son of a bitch! <laughs> now I'm thinking about how I met your mother. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Ah. Well, I definitely know that Aki is really mad. I, I didn't see anything. I Wait, I, in the first place, I didn't do that. But I don't think she's in any state to accept my excuses. Shut up, you! Question mark? Oh no, you pervert! Slap! Ouch! The sound of a powerful slap rings throughout the room. It, it wasn't even my fault. She's a bitch. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh, Misaki. Misaki has heard the sound of the slap from the entryway and comes running. Aki doesn't pay any attention, but just keeps glaring at me with a red face. I can't, I can't believe it. Who looks up girl's skirts? You're wrong, that was an accident. Even if it was an accident, you looked, didn't you? I, I, wait a minute, what's going on? Misaki has no idea what's happened. And now, hearing all the noise, the other girls come running. What happened? I heard a really loud noise? Ah, uh, this just keeps getting worse and worse. If she tells them I looked up her skirt, I'm through on many levels. Everything's okay. It was just an accident? Too many question marks? Panicked, I try to get the situation under control, but I can't take it anymore. What? Trembling all over, Aki speaks. I can't take it anymore. I can't stand living with this pervert. What? Per pervert? I'm finished? I will never approve. I will never allow you to live under this roof. Well, that was tense. She's still a bitch. Can't wait until she actually opens up and is not a bitch. Anyways, I hope that this audio thing is a bit better than my past videos. And if not, I'll just go back to the original. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.